We are sorry to interrupt our programming but as of a few minutes ago, we have noticed the generalized rioting taking place in Staten Island. CBS News Radio has a correspondent, Paul DeLeon, in an area where the police is clashing with rioters and we will be hearing from him now. Good afternoon, Paul. So, what can you say about this very unusual incident? Good afternoon, Gerald and listeners. Well, I've been here at the College of Staten Island, precisely at the parking lot close to the 9-11 Memorial, where police forces has set up a defensive line. As you can hear, the situation here is escalating quite quickly. Okay, and how can you describe the rioters? Are there any signs, demands, or would you know what caused them to act? Honestly. Gerald. I'm here for at least some good 15 minutes and neither I nor my team has seen any signs yet. Due to this, and the police not letting media past some established police lines, it's difficult to understand what they are angry for. But whatever it is, it really got on their nerves. Some protesters just charge against the police lines with little regard for their safety. Some vehicles are vandalized and abandoned on the middle of the streets of the campus. There are also quite a few rioters reported inside some of the buildings. Police say they are already in the process of entering the building and... Oh, SWAT teams just arrived. It seems like police is willing to use lethal force. Lethal force? Paul, would you say that's reasonable? If it's reasonable or not, it's not up to me to judge anything. I've seen a lot of ambulances coming in and out, and a lot of injured among officers and riders. Actually, yeah, I think it's reasonable. I just saw a man tackle an officer to the ground and... The following message is transmitted at the request of the New York Police Department. Mass rioting is taking place in the District of Staten Island. Since 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the New York Police Department has reported civilians on the streets causing significant damage to property and injuries. The New York Police Department is attempting to handle the situation, however, local authorities are requesting that Staten Islanders remain home for the rest of the day and avoid traveling in the streets. It may be necessary to issue a curfew, and martial law will be declared, if the situation worsens. Do not participate in the riots, doing so will put your life at risk and you will be arrested. Refer to local cable outlets for more news on this developing situation. That was the emergency alert system being activated. Well, it seems like we lost connection with our correspondent. Paul DeLeon. We are attempting to restore communication, but for now, let's go for a quick station identification. Most of the NYPD has been mobilized to deal with these acts of violence, which may have spread to some streets in Long Island and Brooklyn. Hospitals in the Staten Island area reports injuries in the hundreds and at least five deaths, but those numbers may be higher. The cause and motives behind this are not known. Rioters are attacking law enforcement and other civilians in the most ridiculous ways possible, including demonstrators launching themselves against riot police. NYPD is not letting any press into Staten Island due to the immense threat it poses, and is recommending that anyone outside of the island stay away from the area at all costs. This has been a WCBS special report. We will be back momentarily as the emergency alert system will be activated once again. Listen carefully. This message is broadcasted at the request of the New York Police Department in the office of the Governor of the State of New York. An unusual incident is in development in Staten Island at this time. Riots with extreme demonstrations of violence are currently happening all across Staten Island, threatening to spread across mainland city and adjacent states. 
Severe injuries and deaths have been reported, prompting law enforcement to use deadly force. While at this time, police was able to contain the small acts of violence reported earlier in Long Island and Brooklyn. Due to this extreme situation, the following actions will be taken. All of Staten Island is now under martial law. All crossings in and out of Staten Island are closed until further notice. Do not attempt to leave the island on your own. Wait in a secure location until the all clear or an immediate evacuation order to be given. SWAT teams and National Guard units will be present en masse around hospital areas to guarantee the security and functioning for both workers and patients. National Guard and police may use lethal force if necessary. If you are in Staten Island, seek shelter in a secure structure, stay away from windows, and do not respond to noises outside your shelter. Also, be prepared to evacuate, as an immediate evacuation order will be issued after this alert. Listen to the instructions carefully, and continue to monitor local news for further updates. The following message is transmitted at the request of New York City Emergency Management Department. Emergency services and the National Guard are assisting citizens for a safe evacuation from Staten Island through the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. Follow the evacuation routes, and evacuate using only one vehicle. Coast Guard and National Guard will also evacuate citizens via helicopters and boats from Fort Tompkins. Do not bring luggage, bring essential items only. This message will repeat in 10 minutes. This is WCBS operating with the 880 band. We follow with our news programming with an especial attention towards the acts of violence across Staten Island. The closure of most crossings in and out of Staten Island causes delays in high traffic along the area. In other news, a crazy hobo hustled against a group of moms with their kids in Central Park. Apparently, he didn't realize he was shot by the police until he was Hostile people who wait to harm them is to shoot them in the head.